hello dear friend of mine i'm out here at the bus stop and it's a beautiful day beautiful it's um december 22nd 2019 and i thought i might share something with my friends you know it's you know the lord may preserve this testimony that I have recorded on YouTube. Well, it all started because I couldn't write. It, fibromyalgia kept my kept me from writing because my hands would hurt. And so I started recording my journal for myself to go back and see how the Lord answered prayer and how He's been faithful and stuff like that. And then it just came about maybe share some of them public. So if the Lord sees fit to preserve this testimony is what it is, as unto the Lord, for somebody in a generation beyond mine, then bless the name of the Lord. That's amazing, isn't it? So, you know, I've shared a lot um, about walking with the Lord, just all kinds of things. And I thought maybe, you know, like Paul did, share about my weaknesses. Paul said that um, now he could boast or be able to share his weaknesses. Um, you know, the things that um, people aren't so good at. Uh, things that I, I fail at a lot and I've struggled with. <clears throat> And the scripture that I was going to bring out today is 1 Corinthians 1 and the very last verse down here, 31. As the scriptures say, the person who wishes to boast should boast only of what the Lord has done. <clears throat> so, I... Probably, let's say it's been nine, ten years ago before something really happened in my heart. Excuse me, that was lasting, you know, continuous. And it was just that I met the Lord. And I began to study this word. And I asked Him to explain this word to me. To show me, are you really real? You know, I needed to know. I couldn't go off of and stake my life on what other people had to say about Jesus. You know. Um, so the person who wishes to boast should boast only of what the Lord has done. And what the Lord has done in my life. It's amazing to me. And he could, he did this in my life. And the Bible says that the Lord sh doesn't show favoritism. And he's not partial. And therefore, what he has done for me, he could do for anybody. And he will do for anybody that so wants it. That so wants to know that he is real. And that all his words hold true. And that he has all power. To change a human being's heart and mind. That's one of the biggest things I could say over the past nine years is that I don't think the same way that I used to. I don't. <clears throat> my mind, my thoughts, my desires, pleasures, all that's changed by the Lord's power, by the Holy Spirit. That comes and works in a believer. Um, I have just to make sure. So that it can, might help somebody. In case somebody else is struggling. One thing I could say. Is always, always, always. Be open and honest. Before the one who sees it all. Don't try to hide anything. Any thoughts. Anything. No matter how ugly or vulgar or nasty 
or vile and bad. Any actions or thoughts that come from you may be. You know, we can't share everything with even maybe a family member or whoever. A pastor, whatever you may have found. You can't share everything and tell everything. But before the one who created you, you may share anything and everything. I found that I, ha I can go to the Lord in my anger. In every which way I have been, I have went to the Lord and been that way. Angry, mad, accusing him. I know it ain't good and right, and he has given me sorrow for it. But I'm just telling you, you can go to the Lord in every which way that you find yourself, even today. You can. I have, uh, I used to be um, one of those who was the, had to be the center of attention all the time. I always had something to say, making somebody laugh, you know. Um, I was a very insecure person. And, you know, I didn't know that I was because I was an extrovert. I loved to be in social gatherings and talk and cut up, have fun, drink, have a good time, you know. I thought I was having a real good time. Um, always craving and needing the desire or craving and needing the attention of the opposite sex. Something that make me feel like I was pretty, beautiful, very um, <clears throat> shallow and superficial, you know. Always taking pictures of myself and, you know, social media blew up and posting them and getting those likes and showing cleavage and just all kinds of things like that. Um, it, like, yeah, I was. I was a liar. You know, wasn't I? Didn't have integrity in me. You know, I wasn't a person of my word. You know, I hate all these ways that I have been, and I hate the sin that I find in myself to this day. And Jesus. You know, he hated sin, loves righteousness, and he makes us to become where we hate sin, and we crave and desire righteousness to be found in us. I'd gossip and talk about people. I would. Anybody and everybody. And, um... I scream and holler my words and today I still struggle with my words to be not harsh these days it's what comes out of my mouth and my thoughts you know? <clears throat> because even when the Lord straightens up he straightens you up to where you might get to a place to where from people watching you they might think well she's a good person upright and everything but you still got in here that they can't see what's in the heart that people can't see but the lord can see because he looks at the heart and the bible says the human heart is wicked and full of deceit and deception and all this who can even understand it and know it but the lord does and he will bring to light who you are in your thoughts, in your thinking, you know. He, he brings to light the secret sins. And so even growing in the Lord, I found myself to be self-righteous, looking down on others, judging them in here, all right? They didn't even know I was doing it. But the Lord knew, and he let me see that, and I hated that about myself. Um, but the Lord has all power to change a human heart, to bring about righteousness, uprightness, to make a person to be able to be a 
clean, clear, holy vessel that he might inhabit and do as he pleases through that person. You know, that's what it becomes more and more of. So I just say to you, remain open and honest before the Lord. You will learn you can trust him more and more. You know, your faith has to grow. You trust him more and more. And, you know, always ask him to forgive you and confess your sin. Because he already knows it. And if he shows you that you have sinned and done wrong, then just go to him and confess it. And he will be faithful to forgive you of your sin, cleanse you of all unrighteousness, and cleanse your conscience of any guilt associated with whatever sin that you needed forgiveness for. He will do that. He is faithful to do all that he says he will do. He will do. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Find him out. He is wonderful to find out. Better than anything you could ever find in this world. Set your mind on him. And your heart on him. And to be able to do that. You got to ask him. To give you a heart. That would love him. A desire. You got to ask him for the desire for this word. You know we can't conjure it up. Or discipline ourselves enough. Everything we need to live this godly life, the Bible says he gives us. It didn't just come from us, you know. We're a mess. We're broken. Wretched sinners we are. But the Bible says only he is good, and he is good. And he will be pleased to be good in me and good in you. And so that we might fulfill the greatest commands which is love the Lord your God with all your heart mind soul and strength and love others as yourself he will do that through us he's faithful so I hope that could help somebody for me to just share those few little things that the Lord showed me was in me you know and it was by his power that those things aren't there anymore and I trust him that he will finish the work that he started in me you know so I hope that could help somebody today be encouraged there is not one good in this world only him all who all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and we're all in need of a Savior, someone who's perfect, and that is Jesus Christ. And He wants to be known by you, and He loves you. Today is the day of salvation, and if you don't know Him, cry out to Him. His ears are always open for that cry, that cry from the heart that says, Save me. I'm a sinner. I can't fix myself. I need your help. His ears are open to that cry. So, <clears throat> I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.